Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to download and set up CXBX Reloaded, also sometimes referred to as CXBXR, and that is an Xbox emulator, the original Xbox emulator. Okay, so first of all, what you want to do is Google CXBX Reloaded. So this is for Windows, as you can see I am on Windows and go to the github page i will provide a link to all the useful stuff like this in the description or you can you know go ahead and google it okay so first of all what i would recommend is that you go to the compatibility list also what i want to recommend what i want to say is this video is not a video condoning piracy it is for educational purposes it assumes you own you know the physical game you know ideally you have an original xbox console as well so you know for all the legal reasons you know there you go okay so if you go to you know the compatibility and uh, where the compatibility do, 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 do. That's not what was one. Sorry, actually, if we just Google CXB BX Reloaded compatibility list, it's a better list. So this is the one. And if you just wait a few seconds for this to fetch all of the GitHub stuff, it's like it gets to about number nine currently, and then it's done. There we go. Okay, so this is a list of all the games that have been tested and their state. So if I go into state, you can see what games are partially working. You can see what games, if I scroll down enough, are working, what crashes. If you click navigate, it will take you to the issue and you can actually see what the exact issue is. Because even if there's a problem, it may just be a minor problem and you may be you know, okay with it. And you know, this describes some of the information as well. So there's crashes, there's unresponsive, it boots. So have a look at this first. I'll be testing shrek 2 simply because i know that works pretty darn well so again that's just a little caveat but as time goes by i'm sure this list will get better okay so the first thing you want to do is download the prerequisites you need the 32-bit visual c plus plus 2090 redistributable or whatever you know version is there when you watch um, when you follow the video so just click that it will download it i've already got it downloaded so i'm going to cancel it you need the MP cap. It's used for network emulation. So if you don't want network emulation, you can skip it. But I'll show you anyway. So if you go on there, go to the installer. Again, already got it. So I was too slow to cancel it. Now what we want to do is actually do install that stuff. So if we, oh, I hate when this happens on, what is this anyway? I will just cover that up like so. Okay, so if we install the, redistributable first so just open that up click agree install yes don't worry you know we're not developing for c plus plus or anything like that it's just a redistributable which has some files for some applications and chances are if you've used your computer for a while and you've installed other stuff on there you probably already got this on there but just in case just download it click restart because i've already done it i'm not going to but click restart and we can install mp cap for network emulation click yes click i agree install mp cap in compatibility mode click install again this won't take too long at all okay so mp cap has been installed so that's the same blaster one thing I hate when when you do a zoom factor, it just makes some more some of the stuff blurry. Windows does not scale stuff well. Again, I'm just going off on a tangent. Okay, so next what you want to do is actually download CXBX Reloaded. Go to Automated Builds, Release Builds, and just go to the latest one, whatever version that is. Go to Assets, select whichever version you want from here. I'll recommend VS 2019. So click that, it will start downloading it. I'm gonna cancel it because I've already got it downloaded. Okay, so next, because it's only a zip file, we can just use the built-in extractor. If you have something like WinRAR or 7-zip, feel free to use those. So right-click on this file that we've downloaded, go to extract all, or like I said, use 7-zip or WinRAR or something else. 
and I'm just going to extract it where I currently am and this is what we get right here so I'm going to rename this I just don't like this whole I prefer it just named like that I've also got some games as well so go to Xbox games Shrek 2 right here so they need to be in the .xbe format if you have them in the .iso format there's videos out there I will create a video as well covering how to convert ISO to XBE so feel free to check that out if you have any questions feel free to you know ask if you got the game in .xbe great let's then you're all good to go so what you want to do now is actually not this this folder here is launch up cxbx.exe so launch this up if this pops up just go to more info run anyway that's fine and it says use cxbx reloaded in portable mode what that just means is if you was to let me use this over here for a second if i was to let's say grab this folder put it on my usb stick take into another computer all the configuration settings will be present because all of the configuration is saved here but likewise if i delete this folder and i re-extract it the configuration will be gone so depends on what you want i'm going to say yes save it in the current directory just what i prefer for these tutorials but feel free to do it however you want so i'm going to click yes and this is the emulator that's you know that's it and you can go to input you can start configuring some input so you can go port one you can try and configure the ms controller duke or the ms controller s or the big one or the smaller one and for different you know ports as well so let's say if we do the duke configure we can start configuring this so we can either do x input because i've got an xbox xbox one controller connected to it i will set that up or you could do a keyboard and mouse it's the same process you just select it so what you do so if you guys if you connect something else click refresh and you'll appear here you go press that and i'm gonna press a on my controller button a b x y black i will just do as r1 and l1 or rb and lb i should say for xbox back will be i'll do option or single select you know that's that so sherry button and then the sticks up down left right click up down left right again if you are using the keyboard option that is fine you will just press keys on your keyboard so that is great it allows you to play xbox games say halo or shrek for example or whatever game you want to play using your keyboard and mouse so let's do the d-pad now and triggers uh, i'll leave that out and i can save this let's say i'll save this as xbox one controller click save and that's it and if i was to go off it go back onto it it's still there and i can have multiple configurations as well so that's pretty cool the next thing I want to show you is config video. So I've only got one display adapter, one graphics card. If you have more than one, you can select this. You can do direct 3D device, hardware or software. Trust me, software works like a potato. It is terrible. You want to do hardware accelerated. That is the way to go. The display resolution, I recommend default. You can select a higher one, just basically be the size of your window. You can do the render resolution, which basically a higher render resolution, the sharper your game will look. Obviously, depending on how powerful your computer is and what game you are playing, put in a too high of a render resolution or just a higher one may not be practical. So feel free to experiment. There's some other you know options as well like full screen vsync and all that stuff feel free to experiment with it once you're done click accept and there are other options like audio that you can you know mess around with there's you know networking ee prom there's hacks as well feel free to experiment with this but really that's all you need to do now to launch a game you go to file open xbe and you go to where you've got it i mine is in downloads Chrome, EMU and hacking Xbox games 
Shrek 2. You open up the default.xbe and if that appears, it is fine. Just click yes and it actually detects what game you have. So for me, it's Shrek 2. Now to actually launch the game, you go to emulation, start, and that's it. It is now starting. If I put the mouse over the window, it disappears, but I can drag off it as well, move the window around, which is pretty darn cool. As you can see, it is launching now. I'm going to turn the volume down. That's up, so you can hear it, see it is working. I'm going to turn it down. And again, make sure you check the compatibility list before you go ahead and play a game. Because, you know, I've done it before where I put a game and I'm like, yeah, yeah, it should be fine. Then look at the compatibility list and, yeah, it's meant to work like pants. So no wonder it wasn't working. If you want to go full screen, you can press Alt and Enter, for example. And we are now full screen. And I can use the, the my controller. Skip this. I'll be getting to the menu. So feel free to rip experiment with that render resolution and get a sharpness and a frame rate that is suitable for you so you can you know select new game you can go to save or continue save continue and it is now saving okay getting you know game a whatever and it will let me skip with the a button soon there we go and we'll be in game and I can move Shrek around. So there you go. So the, here we have, I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna press escape and that gets out of full screen. There we have it. We have an, I'm gonna stop emulation to stop it. Let's click stop and there we go, you've stopped it. If you wanna select another game, just go open the XBE. You can close the XBE as well if you want to. You can go to recent XBE file. So if you open up a bunch of different ones instead of going to open, as long as you haven't moved them from the original directory that they were opened in, you can just do this. So that is the CXBX Reloaded Xbox emulator to play the original Xbox games on your PC. I will have separate videos of how to do Xbox emulation on different OSs, so feel free to check that out. CXBX is you know, it's pretty de decent, but again, check the compatibility list. If you have any questions, always, always you know, send me a message, comment, whatever. Let's get in touch. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.